how can homeowners prioritize their renovation projects to achieve the most impact with a limited budget? So it kind of plays in with the first couple things that we've talked about is mm -hmm. choosing materials that are going to be budget friendly. Yeah. Um, and, and really cabinets, countertops, flooring, those are going to be your top tiers as far as those are going to be the bigger price tag mm -hmm. items. Because, um, of course, your flooring goes throughout your house, your cabinets and your countertops are in your bathrooms and your kitchens. So those are those. And, of course, they're a, a large part of a budget. Uh -huh. So as far as making decisions um, and, of course, going back into kitchens and, and the bathrooms and the living spaces, um, focusing on, on those areas with these products, um, finding products that are beneficial. Uh -huh. Um, and also the, the opportunity to kind of, um, I don't want to say fads, um, but the opportunity that you're not choosing purple cabinets and yellow countertops and orange paint. Like you're not, you're not trying to make it something that is not the lack of a better word norm. Right. Because most people uh, in our society all have very similar uh, aesthetics and tastes. Mm -hmm. Um, and nothing, there's no wrong answer on that, but just in the general sense of that when, when we try to create right. for a resale value, try to have it to where the majority is, is, is in the, in the like mode. 